welcome back for some more Attack on Titan. So today we are at episode 12 and I've got the feeling that obviously this episode will probably be a little bit more... Um, I don't want to say exciting because you know how much I loved the last episode with like Gabby and... Um, Oh, don't remember her name but like the girl that Sasha saved like when she was younger in the like si season one or season two I think uh yeah like that conflict between those two was so flipping uh like eye-opening if I can say for like Gabby so I can't wait to see what her reaction afterwards will be after that conflict, you know, because she was just generali generalizing, I don't know if I can say that, so much. So yeah, I really hope she will change a little, you know, but at the same time, you guys know that I kind of understand her because she's been raised in that kind of war thing and like she's so flipping way too much into it, but she's been brainwashed. So I'm like, I don't know. Okay. Uh, but yeah, and the ending of the last episode, the last episode, which was kind of uh, in the after credit, uh, Rainer want to launch a surprise attack on the paradised uh, people because he doesn't want to wait six months to save Gabby and Falco. And I think it's a great idea because like he said, if he like if they would have wait that much longer, like that much time, Zeke would have a plan to just defeat them again and all over again. So I think it's a great idea to do kind of a surprise attack, but at the same time they have to be prepared. And I'm not gonna <coughs> I'm not gonna lie. God, my voice broke. I'm so excited. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I have no clue about what this episode can be about, uh will be about, you know, because since the beginning it doesn't really yeah, 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 okay, yeah, it follows, but like every episode follows each other, but like we have information about Historia being pregnant, but we don't know really who's the father. They say that it's a form guy, whatever. I think it's Heron. Uh, we have the conflict with Gabby and that little girl, uh, you know, just Gabby and Falco's story. We have Rainer and, uh, you know, Paco, I think, like Galliard and Peak on on another side we have the scout we have heron we have armin mikasa uh jean and coney who doesn't believe who doesn't trust heron anymore so there's like so many ways where that episode can go so i have absolutely no clue and unfortunately i won't do any theories or anything like that if i will do some it will be during the episode like i do usually so yeah but before we get started i just wanted to say a huge thank you to my patreons Thank you guys so much for your trust and your support over this platform. I am currently watching Avatar The Last Airbender. We are at book two. I am watching Dragon Ball and Fire Force season one for the super sibling and above tier. So if you want to join us, uh, the link is in my description box in my description box. And I just want to say a special thank you to my king, queen and god tier. Thank you guys so much. And you know what? Without further ado, guys, let's just get started. And you know what I was thinking about? I was like, will Annie flipping awake, like woke up, wake up at some point? I'm sure she will in a moment that we don't, like we weren't waiting for it, you know? I'm sure it will be a surprise or anything. But I wonder if like Galliard will come and break that crystal, like the Warhammer, that would be my only option. You know how they're saying like that she's sleeping? Do you imagine if she's not and she's just hearing everything that they say? That would be so weird. Wait, what? Was she laughing at him by saying that he's got a crush on Annie? Armin with Annie? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, both of them are blonde, but like, oh, I don't know. But well, Armin is hot, you know, so maybe Hanny will fall for will fall for him if she woke up at some point, you know? Oh, 
I just think it is sad that they're like supporting Aaron like so much when like he's not alone you know there's a scout regiment he's not the only one fighting i kind of understand but like i feel bad for them <laughs> it's like they're not doing anything when they are still fighting and they are still losing people oh my god <laughs> so she's the one kind of that provoked Aaron to do that on his own but like she said she's not the only one like she's not entirely responsible for it but I'm pretty sure like Aaron had an idea that he wanted to do it but she kind of helped him in that say oh my god so yeah she manipulated Aaron oh wow you know what uh I'm not sure about her anymore <laughs> She seems like a great character, but damn, I'm not sure she's stable mentally. <laughs> Which is totally fine, like in that word, uh, come on. <laughs> Who would be sane? Yeah, it's proof that he passes that titan, but it's proof that he flipping trained hard too, you know? It's not just that. <clears throat> Yo, she seems so messed up ah uh, i'm scared of her now <laughs> yeah absolutely like she could easily has been killed by Aaron if he would have decided to kill her but he didn't <laughs> oh god i love fixes so much uh-huh she's like yeah okay fine <laughs> and she's like what oh my god she told him okay but you know what he seemed like the only sane dude in the entire people that came to help you know I trust him, and I really hope that I tr I put my trust in the right person. And like I said in the last episode, I miss like the old NG so much. Like I know she has no choice to be like that because she's like replacing Erwin, but damn. When she was like so into Titan, it was like so fun to see. She had such a bubbly personality. You know, with all the things that Yelena is doing right now, I'm sure she's like hiding something. I, I'm sure she's not entirely like um, being honest. I don't know. Maybe she's really doing this for the good or of everyone, but damn. I think I will try to remember his name as Onion because <laughs> I won't remember that dude's name, that's for sure. Oh boy, Onion. Or if you have another name for me, help me. I want to remember him. At this point, I just wonder if Eren will just get tired of all of this and will escape, go on his own. And ditched every like everyone, everything, and do his own thing. Just think it's horrible that those two can't see him anymore. They're like his only friends. Like true friends since like really young. Oh my god. That's the question. At this point, I'm just scared that Eren will try to like push them aside because he doesn't want to hurt them, you know? And he will be mean to them. That is what I am so scared of. That he will say hurtful words to them. That will like make 
their trust break, if I can say. And I'm not gonna lie, what Armin said that no one trusts Eren anymore, he is so right. They're the only two left that trust Eren. Jean, Coney, and everyone. No one trusts him anymore. Holy God. What the actual heck happened? Why did that thing explode? Did they try to transform a titan or something? Oh my god, they lost such an important person right now. What the heck will they do? And who the heck did that? What? Yo, that corpse just flew away. Well, well, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I had such intense chills right now. <sighs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the one of those three people was like made himself explode or something like that. I'm sure it wasn't a trap, but it was planned. Whoa! Holy Jesus, yo, those faces! Hydro, sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the heck did I say? That he would flip in his cave. Hell yes. Oh my god, the chills I have right- Ooh, hello! <laughs> Will we see his abs? Probably. And with his hair tied up like that. So Aaron is the one controlling those new recruits, is that it? And he's getting those new recruits because he doesn't want the older one to get, like, hurt or anything because he cares about them. But no, that's from- Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, he's a- Oh! <laughs> there he is! Hot. Oh god, that's just the half of the episode? Wow, okay. Damn. <laughs> so many things happen. But you know what? I'm keeping my uh, point that he's with them because he doesn't care about them. Like, he's not related or anything to them. Related in a way that he's not friends. Like, it's not like them. There are new people. Like, he doesn't care if they die. Thinks that why. <laughs> yeah, gurist. What the heck? Yo, like, it's her flipping foe. Come on, she's doing her best and they wouldn't even do better. They better don't, like, not be mean to her. Oh, my, 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 my. I'm scared for Levi. If they go for him, like, if they go for Zeke, I'm pretty sure Eren will be the one fighting Levi. And I really hope he won't kill him because he really cared about him. I was like, is that a flippin' joke? But Pixis is like flippin' smart, so I trust him. I trust him, I trust he have a plan behind that. That's what I thought, he has a plan. He has a plan behind his plan. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. Pixis is the one, like, he's the best to replace Zachary, at least for now. Oh, 
uh, it's crazy how no one believed in the scouts anymore, but to begin with, the scouts wasn't that liked, you know? We'll see how it goes. We'll see. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Exactly. Thank you, Mikasa. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. Like, she's so flippin' straightforward. And she's fighting for the right reasons. Not like hers. <laughs> yeah, right. You just want her on your ship because you want protection. That's it. Of course they do, man. You're all like his best friends. <sighs> I think at this point, as like on which side are you, it's like the most difficult question ever. Because all sides seems like it doesn't work, you know? Like a lot of people are on Eren's side because like we've saw him from like season one, so we have an attachment to him, but I don't know. I'm just watching. I'm a spectator. <laughs> I won't take any position. <laughs> Hell, Pink is in the place. And I'm sure she's not the only one, you know. Okay, friends, so that was it for today's episode of Attack on Titan, which was another really informative episode. And we could clearly see at the last second that Peak infiltrated, uh, you know, the Paradise people, which is, uh, yo, their plan is in place, which I think the last, uh, the last, the next episode will probably be a bit more, uh, you know, uh, with action, I I don't I don't know how to say that, but yeah, because the action that we had in today's episode was like flipping Zachary being like exploded in two, which is which I totally wasn't expecting. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought like I always thought that like Zachary and kind of his crew, you know, was uh, let's say protected, like highly protected. So I was kind of really surprised to see like their room exploded with those three people and i think is that one of those three people was like um probably with Eren, and he was the one or she was the one to make their room explode okay i'm i don't have the feeling that it was a trap all along like in that room because I don't know, I just don't feel like it, and I like those two, like those three, I think there were three people, they came in the room, it exploded, mm, I think it's one of those three, you know, <laughs> that's what I think, but yeah, by losing Zachary, I think I'm really happy because, I'm not gonna lie, I never really liked Zachary because we never really saw him that much, um, but to see that Pixis is the one that will kind of replace him for now, I think, I don't know if he will replace him for like a long time, but at least he's replacing him for now. I think he will make great decision. I really love this character from like season one when he discovered that like Eren was a titan and everything. So I think by having him like at this place will be good. And uh, he's always has good plan and he always had smart ideas behind his plan. So yeah uh whoa to see that peak was already there i'm pretty sure that some other people are there too i don't know if rainer and galliard are there too but hiding at like other places we will see i'm not gonna lie i feel really bad for armin and mikasa uh, like i said during the episode i have absolutely no clue about on which side they are because even jean and Connie was like yo on which side are you like it's hard to say that you're on the side of her and like in terms of being close to someone of course they care about Eren because they grew up together but I'm pretty sure that like Jean Coney and everyone else Mikasa and Armin doesn't really agree with like all the decision that um Eren is taking but still they are attached to him you know they can't just ditch him like that 
it's way too hard. So I I understand why they just want to, you know, kind of save him, talk to him. But I think right now, Aaron took those people, like I said many times during this reaction, I think they took, like, he took those people because he's scared and he doesn't want to lose any more closest, like, person to him. Um, and that's why he chose to, like, have those new people which he doesn't have any link to them. So he won't really care if they die or anything. Uh, in the opposite of like when Sasha died, like I know he laughed and he laughed like uh, Han Hangs Hang. Uh, don't remember his name, but yeah, when he died, he laughed and it's because he was like clearly he was sad and everything, and it was his way to like express his sadness, you know. So when Sasha died, I think just he had like he had the click, like he had a click. And that's why he's doing this right now. That's what I think. Uh, obviously, I can, I could go way more deep, but I think I won't because it's just so flipping messed up. And ah, uh, ha. Nah, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I feel bad for Aaron. I'm not gonna lie. Like he's losing everyone he's caring about. But. Well, he's the one making the decision. I wonder if he would talk to like Mikasa Armin and like everyone, like Jean Cooney, NG and Levi, if he could like find a solution or anything. But I think he just doesn't want to because he's got his plan set and he doesn't want to lose uh, close people. So that's the result. That's what I think. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more anime content. And we will see each other in my next video. Bye-bye.